Rush board. And the Rush Revere board. Because it's from his books. I do have someone who can vouch for me. My horse. Now, can I get the necklace one? Yes. These are all from uh, Rush's children's book, uh, all of these sounds. I'm looking for the necklace. Uh, I think it's like the second or third from the to- uh, the to- uh, from down from the top. And he gave me a special necklace. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, I just want to play. I'm going to play just one, a few more just so you get a sense again of this board. Do you have a speech impediment? Or was your mother simply as dumb as you are? Yeah. Oh! So, some, oh! so some kind of nice things. But I just want to, I want to play. All right, I'm going to play one more. Seriously, the 1700s called. They want their clothes back. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I obviously, we're getting a really puerile enjoyment out of this. But I just want to play one piece of sound. And again, I'm just doing this up top. This is a little bit more of an informal day. I own that this is a little bit puerile. But sorry, when I have what even is a good, bad idea, I feel an obligation to share it with the Majority Report audience. So listen to this sound again. I do have someone who can vouch for me. My horse. Now, I am not... There's just something about how he says that. And I point that because Rush doesn't Rush is my actually My horse. My horse. Now Rush is like, you know, he's a great broadcaster, terrible person, all the rest. But, but there's something about how my horse that just is so Rush Limbaugh and it's so hilarious and it sounds so awkward that I would like to put out a challenge. Oh, I you're gonna make the call to you're gonna I'm call. I'm gonna make the call to action up top right wow, now. Oh, here we go. All right. So this this is a call to action. Now before Michael gets to it though. Yes. Remember that you have, what, four or five days, four or five show days, actually probably a week, seven days. Yes. To do, so, well, Rush Limbaugh show is not on the weekend. So you have four to five Rush Limbaugh shows to do this so we can broadcast it to the Majority Report audience when we come back next Wednesday. If Sam finds it funny. N- now, but yes. make the call. Now, back here's here. the call. Okay, I'm going to just play this again. I do have someone who can vouch for me. My horse. That's just hilarious to me. And a lot of people have done great prank phone calls with Rush where they bring up his drug habit. They tie him into knots about, you know, the literally millions of horrific and horrible things he said throughout his career. But if somebody can get on the line with Rush and and, and, and don't mention anything, no no drug references, no politics, and just lead him up, like start talking about how, you know, give him something he'll love. Like, I used to own two McMansions, and now because of Obamacare, I live in a Motel 6, and I blame Benghazi, or, you know, whatever. Just leave it. Yeah, just, just you know, work him up well, get it going, get the, get the you know, massage the androgynous maybe zone, call, the erogenous maybe, zones. Maybe call a feminist yeah. a slut. Yeah, maybe call a feminist a slut. Maybe say, look, I'm not racist. It's just black people are terrifying. You know, whatever you need to do. And then you go, and I'll tell you what, Rush, I'm not lying about this. I have someone who will vouch for me, my horse. <laughs> and if someone could do this, and actually I would actually like it if multiple people could do this, because I would just pretty much like one call a day for the rest of Rush Limbaugh's career to conclude with at least one person saying, and you know who can back me up on this, Rush? My horse. I do have someone who can vouch for me, my horse. Okay, and now so if that's... you go search for the Rush Limbaugh Revere uh, soundboard online, you too can listen to all of these. This isn't only for the horse one. That's right. If you could find a way to work any of these sound clips into... Uh, no? No. I'm going to stick... I'm, I got to draw this narrowly. I think the horse one is specific. That's your favorite? I just think it works in a very particular way. I, I, understand. I, I mean, I, I, I'm open to other challenges, but let's focus on the horse one for now and but and, and play with the board. If, I, however, if you could get yes. him to say that in the DR he had a special necklace, that would, <laughs> that would be. It, you know, if you spontaneously, and it depends <laughs> on your talent as a prank phone caller, yes. If you're like, hey, hey, Rush, and somehow you get him to start talking about the Dominican Republic, which I, if you can get him there to begin with, that's very impressive. And you drop a. And he gave me a special necklace. Then kudos. But the prime focus is my horse. All right. Let me get to this one pretty important story. Uh, The gauntlet has been thrown down. And you can email us the files at majorityreporters at gmail.com. 
Uh, and seriously, like, I mean, we'll we'll play this on the show. We'll post this on social media. 